Alright guys, it's me again, and well, today we've got an unboxing of the GoPro HD Hero 3 Black Edition. So first of all, my friend has already removed the tape to open this cover, but who cares. Next step is pulling the GoPro package out of this actual box. And now, what you can actually see is, well... The GoPro and the Wi-Fi remote, and there is this little blue thing, which says "open to the top." Well, it doesn't says that, but it means that. And there you go. Before using GoPro HD Hero 3 camera, product update is required. Okay, we need to visit GoPro.com, Wi-Fi, remote stuff. What else? Visit GoPro. Some Chinese weird stuff. And the actual GoPro packaging. Come on, get in focus. There you go. So you get those two flaps. You open those up. Just like that. And then you can get access to the actual next box. It's always nice, this design. With those boxes in boxes. So you open that up, get the side, then you pull out that. There's not any more in there in the GoPro 3 because, well, I don't know. They didn't want it to be like giving away so many mounts as they did with the Hero 2 camera. Okay, so here's this package. You've got those standard mounts, the doohickey. Flat adhesive and curved adhesive. What? Um, cable it says GoPro on there. Hopefully, you get it in focus. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, there you go. GoPro. That's cool. And here again, it says GoPro. It's the standard cable that they use for the GoPro Hero 1, 2. As you can see, yeah, that's for the Hero 1, too, so, well, next up, another cable, but this is for charging your Wi-Fi remote, uh, yeah, this is for charging the Wi-Fi remote. You've got this pivot arm, which is actually pretty cool. Um, oh, I don't know. The G buckle mount. The battery, which is actually a lot of... It's, it's a lot smaller than the actual GoPro Hero 1 and 2 battery. And as a result, it got only 1050 milliamp hours. As the GoPro Hero 1 and 2 battery has got 1100 not that big of a difference. You've got this ring for mounting your GoPro Wi-Fi remote. A non-waterproof door, which I would not recommend to use because my brother nearly destroyed my GoPro when using it because he didn't notice he had that on and he just dunked it into the water and well, it didn't work anymore. Alright, that's that. And you get three GoPro stickers. So, let's get the actual GoPro out of this package. So you got this wire ties. You just twist them open. Come on. Like... Ah, shit. What? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so... First stop is, I think, the, yeah, it's the left one, and now it's for the right one. There you go. Now you just can slide the Wi Fi remote out of the actual, let's say, it's stand. And there you go. Wire ties are fed. 
through there. Just take them out like that. Don't be too rough on it or you might scratch it because this matte finish looks decent. So as you can see, there is this little um, thing right there. Come on, get in focus. There you go. You need to pull that down. Then you can pull that out. It says GoPro in there. And then you can actually snap that in and charge your Wi-Fi remote. It's pretty decent. Very good quality. Snap that in. And it's inside. I think this uses the same battery as the GoPro. Let's turn it on. Well, it's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, next up is the easiest thing sliding the GoPro out. Oh, they actually describe it right there. Push here and then push forward. Like a normal GoPro mount does. So. And by the way, this is a free mount that you can use, so it's pretty cool. So here's the actual GoPro. You need, it says, remove down there, so you go ahead and untie that, and you take that remove thing out. You put it back together. Because we want it to stand properly. Come on, get in the hole. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> okay, so here's actually the GoPro with the new housing. As you can see, old housing is a um, curved lens which gave you the fish eye effect. Well, the new one has actually a fish eye effect too, but it's a flat lens. No more distortion in the video if you videotape underwater. And also, you think, oh shit, if it falls down, like here, one and two, it'll actually totally scratch the lens of the housing and the actual lens if you don't use the housing. Well, this one is pretty cool because it's got like a rubbery finish here on the side so it won't touch the ground. Um, if it falls down, so that's pretty cool. And also something new is a third button here on the right for the Wi-Fi. And well, actually, it's got two lights. The lower one is the ra uh, regular one for uh, indicating that it's videotaping, and the upper one is blue LED, which shows that the Wi-Fi is on or off. So let's actually open this up. The clip on the Hero 3 is different to the Hero 1. The Hero 1 would easily snap open and well that's not that cool if you're like in water environments like when you're wakeboarding so this one you can't just open it like that you need to push or slide that to the side and open it as normal. You see there's a little spring in there that's what makes this sliding mechanism. But anyways, let's get to the GoPro. You want to see it? I do. So there you go. That's the housing. Pretty dang awesome. So, and you want to see the GoPro? Here she is. Such a beautiful thing. There's a Wi-Fi button. It actually shows a Wi-Fi icon in there. Uh, it's got a much better microphone. There's this thing right there. You slide it to the left and the door falls open. So there you can insert the battery. You know what? Let's just do that. Like that. Man, GoPro has a decent packaging. And don't think that this is, uh, you need to take that off. No, that's actually to easily remove the battery, okay? So don't try to get that away. Like that, 
put the door back in. Oh shit, I did it wrong. No, come on. There you go. I think that's inside, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So, well, let's see if it actually turns on right now. Press that. Oh yeah, she's on. She says no SD, which actually is the truth. <laughs> so, it takes micro SDs in there. You know what? Let's insert actually an SD. Oh look, it's got uh, the battery is pretty full actually, and it's got 4K resolution all the way right now, with 48 frames I think is it? I'm not quite sure. I'll turn her off, get an SD card, and see what she does. Oh yeah, that's that's a good sound, man. Let's see if I got one in there. No, I don't. As always. Okay, I got one right here. Using micro SDs for my actual GoPro I use right now, so. Turn it on. This is, by the way, just a class 4. Let's see if this actually works. And, oh yeah! It does actually work. So let's, let's zap to the menu. And by the way, this is much better than on the older GoPro, so you can just like scroll through the menu like super fast. See that? That's awesome. They improved a lot of stuff on the, in the GoPro. Well, let's go to resolution, exit, 12 megapixel. Well, wireless, exit. Okay, so, um, oh shit. I'll actually now try to go into the settings. Oh yeah, I don't want, as you can see right there, come on, get in focus, get in focus, get in focus. Shit. Oh, there she goes. It's 2.7K cinema quality, 2.7K regular, and 1080p, that's what we want. Now we can choose the frame rate as you can see fps like that and now we can see 60 frames a second holy shit that's a lot uh we want to set this to white because i do want to and i feel like it and then we go exit and then we scroll through till we see exit exit and there she is Let's go out and videotape something. Okay guys, so now because we use it on the uh, pole mount, we actually go to the settings, go to, where is it? It's somewhere in capturing settings, up. We need, what the fuck dude? Yeah. I didn't do any single thing. Nah, no, just shut up. No, it's starting to rain. Go home. Get <laughs> okay, we go to capturing and we do Hi. that one. And now it's that direction, you see? So we can actually go proton off, exit, go to exit. What the fuck was that? And now. You see that actually is so cool feature. They flipped the actual screen. And there you go, videotaping. Go go go. Step set that? Oh god damn it.